happen everyone i'm ollie matthews this is societal narcissism no contribution with this video it has been really really concerning the last couple days hopefully it picks up uh real soon otherwise we've got problems but i wanted to talk about our uh, our old friend um lauren bobert and her situation with being uh felt up and fondled in the movie theater and um you know there's another take on this that our good friend <laughs> tim dylan had so uh these are always fun i seem to have put a bunch of people onto tim Dillon's podcast which is a good thing because he is a funny guy <laughs> he is so goddamn funny so let's get right into it, shall we? And have some enjoyment. Lauren Bobert has too much fun at the theater. Lauren Bobert was kicked out of Beetlejuice, the musical. Uh, the traveling... The thing about musicals is when they um, leave Broadway, or even when they are still on Broadway... But I think it's when they close. But maybe Beetlejuice is still open. I don't know. It was like a national theater. Yeah, I was on one of those years ago for Andy Get Your Gun when I was 11 and my mother went with me for like three months. We toured around the country. And then, you know, in the real Andy Get Your Gun on Broadway, the Gina Davis was the star. She was a movie star and she played Annie Oakley. And then we had this woman who was like this Ethel Merman impersonator. Uh, and she was, you know, the touring version of the musical often, it's a far fall. You know what I mean? On Broadway, a musical will have like Josh Groban, and then when it goes on tour around the country, it'll be like Joey Fatone. Like it's a, <laughs> it's a apocalyptic fall in terms of the cast. But they didn't deserve this. <laughs> Whatever she was doing, she got kicked out of uh, Beetlejuice the musical for causing a disturbance. She was in the theater, I think, vaping, talking. They cite an incident report it obtained in which representatives of the Buell Theater in downtown Denver say a group of people were asked to leave after vaping, singing, recording, causing a disturbance. Well, they were getting into it. She's a hillbilly. You got to let her get into it a little bit. She's a hillbilly. You know, that's the thing. I don't really want to defend her here, but she is a hillbilly. And there is a culture they have. You know, and her, her behavior is completely inappropriate for a woman her age. And there's stuff that I found out about her. She used to be an escort, and she has an arrest record. And she's just nuts. She's obviously a borderline. She's obviously nuts. She obviously thinks through her goddamn vagina. But I have to think, if she was a Democrat, they wouldn't have touched her. They wouldn't have bothered her. They wouldn't even have, wouldn't even been on anybody's radar here. And some of it is kind of singing along and vaping and stomping their feet and doing like hand bone and jug bands and stuff. <laughs> I mean, this is not a woman who's like seeing shows at the West End, the, the West End of London or on Broadway. I mean, she's a hick. She's a straight up hillbilly. And I'm not saying that in a disrespectful manner, you know, publicly, uh, privately I am, but I'm just saying like- <laughs> As he's saying it publicly. This is who she is. That's her culture to kind of sing along and be a lad. She's a classless animal is what I mean. Like, so it, it, it. She is. She's a classless animal. But there are plenty of Democrat classless, an, classless animals <laughs> that that get away with this. I mean, whether it be on Broadway with Hamilton or the Book of Mormon and dancing and jumping around and yelling at people. No, they want to they wouldn't even a thought of approaching those people. Never. Never, but she has the wrong politics. And she should have known fucking better. But, you know, I don't know. Was was she being that disruptive? I don't know. I wasn't in the theater. She probably was. But that's the thing. She's unaware. Like, the only reason she's going to see any type of theater is because it's Beetlejuice. That's it. Right. The only shows that Lauren Boebert would ever go see are movies she's seen before. Uh, you know, she's never going to, she was, she wasn't going to go see like the ferryman on Broadway, the Jez Butterworth, <laughs> the brilliant Sam Mendes thing that Gaffigan told me to see. And I saw three times. It was amazing. She's not going to go see death of a salesman, Lauren Boebert. She's not going to go see a view from the bridge. She's not going to go see Shakespeare in the park. 
She's not like, oh, Othello is playing? Let's go see Othello. <laughs> she wants to see Beetlejuice. She's a hillbilly. Right, she's a dunce. She's obviously a dunce, but she has conservative politics, so, you know, let's attack her. And I'm not saying it, there's anything wrong with Beetlejuice, but there probably is. I haven't seen <laughs> but it. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm sure it's fun. I'm sure it's fun and goofy and silly. But that's the only theater. I almost side with her here. She's trying. Like, she's trying. She's a Waffle House employee. <laughs> she's a, a bartender. She's and, and don't hit me with the classes horseshit of like, well, she could still be brilliant. She ain't. Yeah. She ain't. She's not. She's not. And none of these women politicians on either side are, which is my which is my whole point. Which is my, if you're a conservative, if you care about the culture, if you have a conservative, what has any of these women politicians done? Nothing. Nothing. And that includes Amy Coney Bryant, who allowed men to still compete against women and refused to hear the 2020 election stuff. Refused to hear it. So miss me. Miss me with her as well. Yes, you could You could work at Applebee's and be a genius. You could. You'd not. You're not. <laughs> Most likely. I'm guessing. Law of averages. She's a, a goon. Her and her husband beat the shit out of each other on their lawn. The cops come to the house. Uh, she's like Sarah Palin 3.0. She's getting divorced because they can't stop beating each other up. Trailer. Like... Trailer park shit. They can't stop, I don't know, smashing the windows of each other's cars out with fucking bats they find around. I mean... That's all borderline personality disorder behavior, as you saw in that, the, uh, the video I did the other day. They're like a fun couple. The sex is probably really fun because then they attack each other with, like, weapons. You know, you know that she's been barricaded in the bathroom. And then she goes and talks about family values and how important they are. And you know her kids are screaming and crying, Mommy! And he's like, I can't open this door! You know there's been a moment in her house where her kids are in their rooms. They're terrified. They're, they're locked in their rooms. They're terrified. And they're screaming, and she's in the bathroom, and he's kicking the door, and he's like, open this fucking door. Open this fucking door. Make no mistake, that's her home life. Right. That's her home life. Oh, well, clearly, because, I mean, there's police reports about it. It is. Life. She's probably thrown around. And for good reason, she's probably got a mouth on her. <laughs> she's probably got a mouth on her. And for good reason, she's probably thrown around. Let's be honest. No, let's be very honest. Now, this is very... I often get into problems here on this show because I just speak extemporaneously. But she's got a mouth on her, and there's probably a reason she gets shoved in the kitchen. There's no, she. It's not a out of nowhere shoving. Okay. I'm not condoning it, but it's not like the husband's just walking into the kitchen and starts shoving her and starts screaming at her. You know, it, it's two takes two to tango a lot of times. Okay, <laughs> when Lauren Boebert trips going down the back steps, it's not for no reason. <laughs> she has a toxic mouth, and and. I don't, I am not, and I can't believe I have to say, it's amazing that I have any representation in this town because occasionally I have to say things like this. I am not defending hitting women, but, but. Lauren Boebert is not getting shoved accidentally. She doesn't have to lock herself in the bathroom accidentally. She's not getting chased. When he chases her in a car, when her husband, I think his name's Jason, I forget, but when her husband gets in a car and he chases her around, Okay, it's not by accident. She's 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 a live wire. She's the problem. Right. She insults him. She probably talks shit about his dick. <laughs> I'm guessing because she's not going for like deep intellectual things. But that hurts him. He can't say shit about his dick. <laughs> he can't talk about Jason Bobert's dick. Is it Jason Bobert? Yeah. As a man, when whenever you, you know you got the borderline. When they piss off and they start attacking your dick. Like, you, that's just where they're going. That's just where they're going. Yes. So this woman, who again, had to leave her house because of family values. And she was getting, she was, her mouth was getting her into, she was, her mouth was, as a, as a black older woman would say, her mouth 
um, was writing checks Check. that she couldn't cash, right? Because <laughs> Jason was probably, he had had enough of her. He'd had enough of her. And she's probably like, I'm gonna end up dead. I bet one day he looked at her and it was like, it was like full OJ eyes. Like, I'm gonna cut your fucking head off and put it on a pike. And again, not for nothing, not for no reason. She was probably very inappropriate. And she said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here. I gotta go. And she's just trying to go to Beetlejuice because she's a hillbilly. She's a hillbilly with a big mouth who brings whoopings on herself that she does kind of deserve. <laughs> And she's also in Congress. I'm not condoning it. You should never hit a woman, but the borderline can push some buttons. She's also in Congress. Let's not leave that out. She's the elected representative <laughs> of the state of Colorado. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. Not for long, because she only won her last election by a few hundred votes. She ain't winning another one, that's for sure. They will replace her. But I have no interest in that. I only look at a character study. She is a saucy, sexy bartender who knows how to fuck. She knows how to get on a dick and ride it. She can make a man come, which is more than I can say for some of these squawking liberal birds up in the Northeast where all sex is death. I'm just saying, I, I'm not even having sex with women. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. People talk to me. They share things with me. So you get- Yeah, remember, Tim, he's gay. <laughs> he's gay. You just don't talk about being gay like that. But he is gay. And a little spicy hillbilly like Lauren Boebert, who's been fucking since she's 12. <laughs> she is a, uh, she's a real southern uh, carnival whore. And in a good way. <laughs> in a good way. It makes a man hard <laughs> when, a, when a woman knows how to fuck and will fuck. She and this is what I said about in the other video. Like, and the problem is there is guys that'll see this and watch her in her meltdown as she's dousing your house in gasoline, slashing your tires, boiling your bunny, okay? And then thinking, you know what? You know what? I could bang that a few more times. No, dude, no, no. Lauren Boebert is another boil, uh, bunny boiler. She just is. She will suck a cock. She will get on her knees and she will suck a cock and she doesn't care if you've showered. You don't need to shower. She likes a little spice. She likes a little spice. She can snap. Your eyes will roll back in your head. She knows how to fuck, but she's also got a mouth and she's going to get you in jail. Yep. She's going to get you in jail. Those northeastern cold liberal women will plot the destruction of your life for years and then they'll take everything from you. You won't even know what happened. Right. They'll just end up somewhere in a fucking bungalow in Florida and you'll be in some apartment going, what the fuck? Hop. Yeah, Lauren Bobert is a trailer park buddy boiler. Those are, those are, that's another level. Former escort out of her goddamn mind. You won't even know. You won't even know. But Bobert, it's just, it's, she's, she's a spicy, saucy, dangerous woman who will make you kill her. <laughs> she will not stop until you kill her. That's the type of lady she is. She's going to just say the wrong thing. And you right, because part of it with the borderline is they're pushing your buttons to get that reaction. Because to them, I can be, you care so much, you're going to get violent with me. It, it, it's weird, but I, I've seen it happen. We had a neighbor in the old place that, you know, I knew her, her and her husband, her and her man for years. And then one day, here come the cops. I see him running, and here she's coming out with her eye all swollen up, and the cops are coming. And me and Charlotte, we went out there, and we brought her in, and the cops went and arrested him. And then she's there like, I wouldn't stop until he hit me. Like, what? Like, what? I'm like, because I was like, what happened? He's a night, like, has he ever done this? She's like, no, no. And she's like, because she watched my channel. She's like, I watch your channel. I know what you're talking about. I know what you talk about. She's like, and she goes, I wouldn't stop until he hit me. Like, why? I don't know. Why? She's like, because I needed him to know. I needed to know he cared. Cared enough to punch you in the face? Yeah. I'm like, and she wouldn't tell me what, she wouldn't tell us what she actually said to him to finally bring it on. But she was getting violent with him. And she fully admit, like, I wouldn't stop until he hit me. That's Lauren Boebert. <laughs> That's Lauren Boebert. You're going to want to kill her. And she's in Beetlejuice. 
She was trying to have fun with her friends. Her friends are also puerile, white trash, garbage people. <laughs> they have no education, they have no class, they have no distinction. But what I will say about them, they're probably all decent fucks and they like drugs and alcohol. And you know what? I don't mind any of that. <laughs> I can't do it anymore, but they're not the least. Hanging out with Lauren Boebert is not the least fun you will have. <laughs> not it is not the least fun you will have. <laughs> It'd be interesting. It's going to be a boring night, that's for sure. But she will end up burning your house down. <laughs> she will end up slashing your tires, jumping on, you, jumping on your car when you try to drive away, try to get away from her until you snap. This is why you can't have anything to do with a borderline, no matter what. Lauren Bubba, because she's all like, gay marriage's got to go, and there shouldn't be no abortions, and everybody and the Jews are running around <laughs> fucking with everybody and the, the moral code, but she'll get on her knees and suck your cock after she's done a line off of it. <laughs> she's an old school fucking, like, you know, barmaid from dusk till dawn, get on the bar. Trailer park bunny boiler. <laughs> vampire core and that's important <laughs> that's important ooh the, this hair this hair old school bunny borderline bunny boiler she will jump on your car she will slash your tires she will punch you in the face it's not going to be a boring night but you're going to end up in jail stay away from the borderlines people all right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you to everybody watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you want me to cover, something you want to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, you'd like to sponsor a video like this if someone who needs help but can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful. Because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys... All of this goes away, so if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with either the Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, and email links in the description box below. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ali Matt. Also, be sure to su uh, subscribe to both my channel on Rumble. Follow me on Twitter and Telegram as well. I'm Ali Matthews. This has been Societal Narcissism. <laughs> Take care, everyone.